Yeah. Man, it feels good out there, man. Mm-hmm. Talking about man. Good weather, man. Yep. And then this one be out, bro. Yeah, it just hurt really like, nah, you know, you, when you get air in a toothache, so it's constantly, it's all good. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom. Standing back out here on the battlefront, on the battle lines for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, so we don't rest. The devil don't rest, so we don't rest. Okay, we might take a knee every now and then and drink some water and reset, but then we're right back at it, right back in the battle. So we're going to talk about the harvest that is approaching. So we're living in some interesting times where the word is going out and it's either sealing the elect or it's marking those for judgment. Look at what happened in Silver City, Mississippi. See, 26 dead. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they heard about this gospel, this ministry. 71% so-called Negroes in that area, dead. Right now, we know that Honduras is cutting ties with Taiwan. So they're joining the BRICS nations. So now China and Russia and Iran is going to be able to posture soldiers in Central America and posture their Navy in the Caribbean, right in the back door of America. This place is on borrowed time, borrowed time. Oh, I keep going. We're gonna face the East. All praises, the Yahweh, Ahashim. Double honor and respect to the elders, to the apostles, the great millstone. Much respect and honor to the beloved brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so. And to the beloved ladies of the hopeful elect of the house of David, Shalom, Barak Thumb. We're going to go into the harvest is approaching. And we know that harvest is comprised of great judgments and the elect being delivered from this wicked kingdom. How many saw the video of that in dub killing her husband, shooting them dead in the house while the kids were there and her mother? This place is wicked as hell. There is no judgments going forth. No righteousness is being preached, but by the men of the Lord. So it's time for America to be taken Let's start off with that, uh, uh, Jeremiah 51 and 33. The harvest is approaching. Judgment. It's time to thresh you, daughter of Babylon. Nothing but wickedness you're pushing here. The book of Jeremiah 51, verse 33. For thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the power of Israel, the daughter of Babylon, is like a threshing floor. Mm -hmm. It is time to thresh her. It is what? It is time to thresh her. Let's go. Yet a little while mm. in the time of our harvest shall come. Beautiful. See, a little while. So this devil has a short time. The global elites that's pushing feminism, women's liberation, white supremacy, which is really Edomite tyranny. So you devils are on borrowed time. And we are here to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and herald his, uh, his return. His arrival. Let's go to John 4 and 33, please. John chapter 4, verse 33. Yep. And it reads, Therefore said the disciples one to another, Have any man brought him aught to eat? Mm -hmm. Yahweh said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me. Mm, beautiful. And to finish his work. Yep. Verse 35, and it reads, Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Mm. Behold, I say unto you, yeah. lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. Mm. See that? So that's telling you that the time is nigh. It's here. A farmer can look across the field, which is the husbandman which means a planter. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is looking at the fruits of the elect spawning and budding and springing forth. We got to visualize this thing because the word is gone now. 
What's that? It's watering the vineyard. And the sun rays, or the light of wisdom, is shining upon the field. Come on. John chapter 4. Yep. Verse 37. Let's and go. it reads, and herein is that saying true, one soweth and another reap. Beautiful. I sent you to reap that whereon ye bestow no labor. Yep. Uh-huh. Other men labor. Yep. And ye are entered into their labors. So, so we're building upon the apostles and the chief cornerstone. They sowed the labor on Yahabashai, which is the root and offspring of David. Let's go, King. Come on, it's the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 14. And I looked, uh -huh. and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one set like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. Mm -hmm. And the ain and it's lucky, and another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in thy sickle and reap. Yep. For the time has come for thee to reap the harvest of the earth, it's like of the earth is ripe. And, and he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle, and another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud voice. So like and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle, and gather the clusters mm. of the then of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. Now see, what we're going to see is, we're going to see the elect being separated or sifted out and delivered. Thus the good seed, the grapes. And then we're going to see the rotten part of those grapes get crushed or destroyed. Was there more in that? Oh, uh, yeah, one more verse uh, 19. Yep. And the angel thrust in his sickle on into the earth mm. and gathered the Ooh. vine of the earth mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. cast it into the wine press of the wrath. That's beautiful. See? So the elect are being gathered here. It's speaking in dark sayings. But the Edomites are going to get their guts crushed out. Let's transition to that, Bubba Kasha, uh, Isaiah 63, and, and then um, Isaiah 65 and 8. On this side, Brothers of Heart. Yeah. See, we're, gonna, we're getting ready to show you the split duality meaning behind this scripture here, what he just read. How many have ever seen Esau paint that, um, what is it called, brother, when he's carrying that, that sickle? The Grim Reaper. Come. That's your shot. That's right. But they plan him as this demonic, dark, shadowy figure. Esau has scholars that study the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Let's read about these grapes that are going to get their guts crushed out. And then we're going to go into the elect being delivered in Isaiah 65 and 8. Sorry, for brothers of heart. Yes, let's brother. Con. Isaiah 63 starting off at 1. Yep. Who is that? So like, who is this that coming from Edom? Beautiful. With dyed garments from Basra. Mm -hmm. This and that his this it's like this that glorious in his apparel, mm -hmm. traveling in the greatness of his strength. Yep. I speak in righteousness, mighty to say, wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Say what? Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? See the connection? Those are those grapes that he's gonna stop out. Come on. And thy garments, like him that treadeth the wine fat, mm. I have trodden the wine press alone. And of the people that was none with me, for I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my remnant. Uh -huh. For the day of vengeance mm. is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. Let's go. See, there was none with me. So the Edomites are bastard children. That's right. They are fatherless. Mm -hmm. They're not with you. How about Shimmy Habashai? Why you think they gave us the blonde haired, blue eyed golden retriever? Mm -hmm. They're not with him. And a lot of you Eves clinging on to this devil, you're gonna fall by the sword. You've been warned. You can't say you didn't know. Now let's go into these clusters he's gonna gather. So we gotta understand that there is a, a split here. It's a twofold precept. Isaiah 65 and I'll start at seven. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 7. Uh -huh. And it reads, your iniquities mm -hmm. and the iniquities of your fathers together, yep. say the Lord Yahweh, mm -hmm. which have burnt incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Mm -hmm. Verse 8, and it reads, Thus say the Lord Yahweh, as the new wine is found in a cluster, mm. and one saith, Destroy it not, yep. for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servants' sake, that I may not destroy them all. Yep. Verse 9, and I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob, Beautiful. and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, yep. and my elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. Mm. Verse 10, and it reads, And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks in the valley of yeah, Accor, uh -huh. Accor, yep. so Accor, a place for the herds to lie down in for my people that have sought me. Genesis 49 and 11, Bubba Kasha. See that? So, Sharon, Accor, the kingdom is at hand. So, what have you notice here? When we put the pieces together, there can be no kingdom without the shedding of blood. So, our kingdom is going to be built upon the ashes and the bones of Edom, the daughter of Babylon. The heads of their babies are going to be bashed against the stone, and their bodies are going to be littered across the earth, right. starting with the daughter of Babylon, the slain of the Lord. Come on, King. Come on, the uh, Matthew, book of Genesis 15, 49, 15, verse 30. 11. Binding his foil mm. onto the vine, yep. and his ass is caught onto the choice vine, he washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood of grapes. See that? So that's Yahawashai. What about you Old Testament only bug outs? I thought Yahawashai was not in the Old Testament. Did not we read he's going to stain his raiment with blood? Not literally, but figuratively speaking. He's going to do a lot of killing. And a lot of you bugged out jakes are joining to this animal too. So you're going to fall with him. Let's go to Matthew 13 and 30, Bubba Kasha. Matthew. Yep. Chapter 13, verse 30. And it reads, let both grow together mm. until the harvest. We got to go to 29. So lock it. Matthew. So the tares are the children of the wicked one. And then you got the seed of the righteous. So the Edomites have sown their seed in many of our women. So you got a lot of chocolate-covered Edomites walking around here. That's why their spirit is up. Bug out. Come on. <coughs> Matthew chapter 13, mm -hmm. verse 29. Yes. And it reads, but he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Verse 30. And it reads, Let both grow together. Mm -hmm until the harvest and in the time of harvest i will say to the reapers Beautiful. gather ye together first the tares mm -hmm. and bind them in bundles to burn them Beautiful. but gather the wheat into my barn did we not did brother amoth not read that so that's that grim reaper holding the sickle see so we're growing together in babylon where we've been cultivated and groomed under this beast system in the belly of the beast but the lord is saying don't kill them right now let's wait and let them grow together until the harvest come on verse 31 and it reads another parable put the fourth salaki another parable put he forth unto them saying uh -huh. the kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of mustard seed mm, 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 mm. which a man took Yep. And sold in his field. Beautiful. Verse 32, which indeed is the least of all seeds, but when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs and become a tree. See, Abba Bibbins, Abba Bibbins, John the Baptist, 
sowed that one seed which grew unto the elders' elders and then the elders. See that? So he made a way in the wilderness, John the Baptist, so that grain is the truth, the word. Read that again, Book of Verse 32, once more. And it reads, which indeed is the least of all seeds. Mm. But when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs and become a tree so that the birds of the air come and louch in the branches thereof. So the other nations are going to come unto this new tree, the new garden, and drink of the wine thereof. So they're going to be nourished by the teachings and doctrines of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Come and let us worship the God of Jacob. See? Read that again, Boba Kasha. Once more, and it reads, verse 32. Yep. Which indeed is the least of all seeds.